Welcome back for another edition of SDG Sports Tech On Demand. We're taking you around the world of live sports video production technology. Today, we're talking graphics and a lot of other fun things with our friends at RT Software. We're joined by Luke Harrison. Luke is their technical product marketing manager. Luke, it's wonderful to see you, sir. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, you know, we've talked a little bit about graphics, teed it up here, sports broadcast graphics, you know, some really exciting things have been going on in the world of augmented reality, um, overlays and illustration have kind of been, uh, you know, uh, reliable things that have kind of been in sports TV for a while. So at RT software, what are you guys working on, uh, that you feel is really making some noise in the sports graphics front? Well, uh, I, as, you, uh, as you say, in, in sports graphics, it's all about VR, AR, and also telestration overlays. And we've got solutions for, for all, of those, uh, all of those things. And I guess what we're kind of working on at the moment is things like uh, how machine learning and artificial intelligence and also sort of data visualization is uh, hoping to drive things. Now, you guys have been doing some work related to the pandemic. Obviously, people's workflows have changed. People are working from different locations. They might be in a distance truck. They might be sitting in their own home doing graphics on the live sports production. Uh, how are you guys taking a different approach to how graphics are rendered out or how the process is changing in this kind of post-pandemic world that we're in right now? Well, uh, you're, you're quite right. Obviously, over the past year, it's been a massive um, challenge for sports broadcasters, uh, a challenge I think they've, they've risen to uh, quite well. I mean, I, I know when I watch the sports I watch, the quality of production hasn't really gone down noticeably. And, and they've done that by having to move to a sort of approach of things like remote production or even cloud-based production. And, and our approach, I thought we were quite fortunate because our approach has always been sort of looking at that sort of modular production. We've had solutions around virtualized rendering where you can have just uh, one machine in a server doing multiple channels, controlled, of course, by multiple points over a sort of a web-based control or HTML uh, and, and so on. So um, from our point of view, really, we don't see a difference between running our applications on a sort of standalone server, a virtual server, or even sort of um, uh, cloud-based uh, kind of uh, technologies. But you do need a sort of core sort of set of technologies to support that. And, you know, uh, we have been in this space for quite some time and, and we've been in a good place because what we've learned is that, you know, you need to have a flexible approach to this. So we have, uh, as well as having web control, we have HTML web rendering into our uh, engines. And at the, at the other end of the scale, we've got Unreal integration that, you know, really gives our customers the ability to find the very latest in sort of uh, rendering technology. That's really, really slick stuff. Uh, can you kind of share for our audience what projects have you guys been working on lately? What sports clients have really uh, taken these RT software solutions and really gone wild with them? Well, um, for, uh, of course, we have different solutions, but in terms of telestration, um, we released, let's say, um, I think I mentioned sort of machine learning sort of um, uh, and artificial, artificial intelligence is going into our telestration offerings. And uh, we have that in terms of player detection, where our system can now automatically detect players. We can add gra and we can just drag and drop a graphic onto that player and it will follow. So that's a massive workflow uh, efficiency, not just for broadcasters, but also for our clients in a sports professional market, which is um, clubs. Um, so uh, in terms of that, you know, that, that's been a big driver for uh, a lot of our recent wins in terms of telestration. Uh, apart from the, the, the clubs that we have, we have new broadcasters like Channel 9 in Australia, for example. Uh, they've recently moved over uh, to us. Uh, we have um, uh, well, in, in the US, we're talking about sort of people like Altitude to, uh, Sports, I think in Colorado, that were our legacy um, customer of ours. They had our, our previous version of Telestration Talk Sports, have now moved to um, Tactic. They've uh, updated to that, as have Root Sports in um, Washington. Um, and then in terms of things like virtual graphics, a, a great exciting thing for us has been um, Sail GP. Uh, which are a kind of a, a, a recently started competition, which is kind of along the lines of America's Cup, you know, big sailing boats going across this, um, uh, a huge expanse of water. So a big challenge in terms of getting graphics up there and virtual graphics, but they're using our renderer to put things like distance markers, finish lines, and even border lines onto the water from a helicopter shot. So a huge challenge, very um, technically difficult, but something that they've been uh, very happy with. 
And then um, in, in terms of overlays, we have um, this year, uh, or since uh, lockdown at least, uh, Aleph Media in Romania, which is a quite exciting project for us, a new channel. They've started off with a news channel, but they're now moving into sports. And they see the, the future very much as sort of um, being having their content ac accessible from the web, from mobile, from tablets and phones and so on. So they wanted the same sort of content that they're putting on their broadcast on cable um, to be uh, uh, easily accessible and available. So what they uh, wanted was graphics in multiple formats, you know, 16 by 9 HD, but also squash in a vertical format in portrait for, um, for a mobile phone. And they, what, again, they use virtual renderers from us to um, take the same graphic or, or the, same the same graphic in different versions and output it to different uh, places, all controlled from the one point via a web-based control point. So an operator would say, we want this graphic to go to air and it will go out in three different formats to three different places. So I quite nice things going on there. Yeah, pretty cool, innovative stuff you guys are working on there. And Luke, we really appreciate you taking the time to share it with us. Thanks for uh, stopping by the show here. You're welcome. Pleasure. All right. He is Luke Harrison. He is technical product and marketing manager for RT Software. You hear how busy they are. Definitely check out what they're up to and check out some more of the SVG Sports Tech On Demand series. You can do it all right now over at sportsvideo.org.